A double row of magnolias marks the spot. Hey everybody, Amanda here for Family Tree Nuts, and I'm on the site of what once was called Old Fort Plantation, or sometimes called just Smith Plantation, on present day Naval Hospital Beaufort Compound in Beaufort, South Carolina. The reason it was called Old Fort was because of the ruins of the British colonial fort, Fort Frederick, that was on the property. John Joyner Smith's grandfather, Captain John Joyner, received this land after his Revolutionary War service as a riverboat captain on this river, right here. He received this land in 1795. Old Fort Plantation had a total of about 700 acres, and it was typical of a low country plantation of the time, growing rice, indigo, and sea island cotton. And at the height of the antebellum area in the slave schedules of 1850, John Joyner Smith owned 136 slaves. So how did John Joyner Smith get this property? He was only six years old when his grandfather died. Well, all of Captain Joyner's children predeceased him, and the only surviving relatives he had was his wife, the former Ann Wig, and his grandson, John Joyner Smith. So I said, a row of magnolias leading to a plantation. How do we know this? Well, period pictures of the time show the plantation house at the end of this double row of magnolias leading from the Beaufort River and then at the end is the house. Now this was a simple nine room farmhouse located on a working plantation. A lot of times when we say plantation, people automatically get into their head, you know, Tara from Gone with the Wind, you know, with the big columns and all of that. Well, that was not this house and it was typical of the plantation houses of the time to be very simple. The wealthy plantation owners, more opulent homes were actually in the towns and the same is true for John Joyner Smith's home and it is still standing on the corner of Wilmington and Bay Street in Beaufort. John Joyner Smith actually built a slave chapel for his slaves and its location is in the area of the current tennis and basketball courts here on the compound. He had a missionary thought when building this chapel, wanting to educate his slaves with a Christian viewpoint. By all accounts, the slaves were actually pretty proud because there wasn't a whole lot of slave chapels in the different plantations in the area. So the fact that they had one was something to be proud of. And they decorated that chapel with flora and fauna found around in the area. It's lost to history exactly how long the plantation house itself stood here, basically in the spot that I'm standing right now, but the chapel by all accounts survived until just 30 to 40 years ago on the grounds of Old Fort Baptist Church, which is just right across the street from where we are right now. Old Fort Plantation was also an important Civil War site, which we talk about in another video, so I hope that you check that out. There was multiple archaeological digs that were done in the area looking for even uh, household items from, you know, antebellum time period, but then also Civil War era time frame. And also a Native American site that was found during an archaeological dig, kind of by mistake. So that's interesting, so hope you check out that video too. It's a wonderful piece of history here on the grounds of the Naval Hospital in present day Beaufort, South Carolina. There's multiple historical sites here, so I hope you check out all the videos. Remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at FamilyTreeNuts.org.